Oh, almost forgot the coffee. Can't have that now, can we? It's time to get serious. Let's talk about some real. All that more coming up here on The Morning Jolts. What's up, guys? Mark back here with yet another Morning Jolt episode. It's about to be real. But enough chit-chat. Let's get right into it. This is Ted Forbes. Now, I consider Ted Forbes a friend. I actually speak with him on occasion when his time and schedule allows. We've spoken on multiple occasions about the trials and tribulations, about being a photographer and a YouTuber. And if you take a look at his past videos, you'll see that he was much, much more uh, into the quote-unquote art of photography. This is Mick Millman. He's a new viewer to my channel, and I've recently started to see uh, his comments pop up on several of my videos. Uh, he does have a smaller YouTube channel, and I have, in fact, checked out some of his videos as well. He happens to be more of a old-school vintage film photographer. Now, what I want to do in this video is I want to address specifically something that I think is not only a problem with our industry, with photography in general, but probably all industries. Now, I brought this up just a couple of days ago in, an, in another video, but I want to dive down and drill into this issue just a little bit deeper. So when Mick started making little comments and stuff on my videos, and he seems quite the contrarian for the most part. I mean, every, he's, he's got an answer for everything, and he seems like he's a bit combative, even though he tries to act a bit, you know, meek or whatever. Uh, but he likes to argue, and that's fine. But there's really... Uh, a point that he brought up in one of his videos that I would like to address. So, first of all, allow me to play that clip for you right now. You know, there was this one channel, and I'm not going to say who it was, but he used to have this great channel. It was all about the art of photography. Now you tell me, does that look like a smug face or what? And this guy eventually became Mr. Uh, camera Reviewer, you know? Just another one of these many reviewers with sensational headlines like... 50 megapixel beast like so as you can see he basically says well you know there was this guy on youtube i'm not going to name any names but i knew exactly who he was talking about as soon as he said art of photography so he's talking about my friend so let me go ahead and address mick in this way he likes to criticize a lot about other youtubers talking about photography when they don't really know what the hell they're talking about ah oh, you're too young you don't have enough self-awareness to understand that you look like a moron because you've only been shooting for a year and i'm like all right <laughs> it should be good i'm sure this guy knows what he's talking about and so this 20 year old goes on to talk about how his generation and younger people, they don't really respect photography as a craft and they just care about making money and all these generalizations that, I don't know, it might be true, but I doubt in his limited experience he really knows that for a fact. He's got a several, several videos where he sits atop his pedestal and talks about how awesome, you know, he is and how shitty these younger guys are. And, you know, I get it. I really do. I understand that, you know, some people you know they're they're speaking from a place of their own experience there are going to be people that are lower on the rung of experience that you know are probably going to look up to some of these other guys the problem with youtube and the internet in general is that everything is on a hype cycle okay people are interested in what they're interested in at that very moment now i agree to a large extent with his lamentations about the uh the the disappearance of the art and the craft of photography being discussed less and less and less. It's more about the gear, the gear, the gear. I get it. I really do. I've tried to revive on several occasions uh, the love and the appreciation for film on this very channel. I started a film photography project just last year. And you know what kind of response it got? Boom! I got, I got tens of views on those videos. Unfortunately, no one wants to watch it. No one could give a squirt less. So while Mick may have a lot of experience with photography and, you know, pillaging his uh, used camera store for vintage lenses or eBay, trying to pick him up a Russian Helios or, you know, just whatever, some some douchey thing that, you know, someone's like, oh, look, I've got it's very, it's 1942 vintage lens and it has wonderful characteristics and, but he has extremely limited knowledge about how to be a YouTuber, okay? He has no platform or experience by which to understand that Ted made a business decision 
Okay, because he may not only just be a photographer or a museum curator at some point. He has a lot of knowledge about photography and the art and the forefathers on whose shoulders by which we stand. But he's also a YouTuber, and he has vastly more experience in that arena than good old Mick here. So Ted had to make a business decision, and it happens to us every day. We micro-adjust all the time. As I said before, I tried to revive uh, a bit of the appreciation for film. I did manage to scoop up a few people that finally picked it up and tried it, or they rediscovered it, you know, from years past. But ultimately, as a business decision, when you're making videos, it's not just as simple as throwing up a camera, making a quick video, and then launching it. Some of these videos, they take a lot of time. They take a lot of effort. Just like with anything, it's a cost-benefit analysis every single time. You know, when you're sitting there talking about the accoutrement and the wonderful photographers, the, the big names in photography uh, that have made a name for themselves, have done great work, have put out, you know, a lot of uh, life's work of photography and images, image makers that have been around for years and years and years have captured some of the most iconic moments in time over the past century. You know, those are amazing to people that are genuinely interested in the craft, in the history. But I mean, let's just be honest. Do you think there's really a reason why the History Channel is showing Pawn Stars now or whatever reality show that they've got on there instead of war documentaries? Okay, it doesn't sell. No one wants to watch it for whatever reason, but that's the reality, okay? It's a business decision. Ted Forbes probably knows more about the art of photography than just about anybody else that I know. I bring up narcissism, and I know that puts me in the crosshairs. You goddamn right it does. Obviously, I'm making a video on YouTube. How am I any different? Am I a narcissist, or am I doing something narcissistic? Absolutely. Why else stick a camera in your face? For Mick to say what he says about, oh, well, you know, he used to be really awesome about the art and the craft, and now he just makes camera reviews. Yeah, because he's already put out all that information he's tried and that's essentially that was his foundation that was his base but i mean there's only so many people you can talk about there's only so much uh, introspection about all oh, the effect that that piece of work had on me before people quit listening people quit tuning in unfortunately people want to grow people on youtube want to grow an audience and how do you grow an audience? You, you test cameras. You test gear. You've got millions of people out there looking to add to their bag. They're looking to add to their camera collection or their lens collection or whatever. And that is what gets views. Unfortunately, I agree. I agree with all of his laments about the state of the industry as we know it. But business is business. YouTube is YouTube. And if you want views, I mean, that's the whole point of a YouTube channel is to get views. You have to cater to your audience. You have to cater to the photographic audience. And as of right now, as of this moment right here, right now, no one gives a squirt about art. No one gives a shit about techniques uh, that, that created such great images from Ansel Adams and Annie Leibovitz. Like, no one cares. They just don't. They don't even know who those people are. All they know is, dude, does this camera do good on a selfie stick? Yeah, it does. It, it does great. Affiliate links down below. So look, man, you may know a lot about photography, but you don't know jack shit about YouTube. And most of the time, a lot of us photographers that have been around for a really long time, and I mean, it is, it's a business decision. And sometimes you make the wrong businesses, just like I did. When I started out, I thought, you know, maybe I should try to be more fun or whatever. And like, I just got it wrong. There's a formula to everything. And it, it takes time and it takes effort and it takes trial and error to get those things right. Ted made a business decision. And I don't blame him. I mean, if you want to know anything about photography, go talk to Ted. He'll tell you. He, he, he's more than happy to make a specific uh, request, you know, make specific requests. And, but, but it is a time benefit analysis every single day. So you tell me, how many hours of your life do you want to spend making videos that you are deeply passionate about only to get views like this? When other videos where people actually want to watch what you have about drones and iPhone lavalier microphones get hundreds of thousands of views, it just doesn't add up. And I'm sure that he feels pressure to satisfy and, and, and keep all those people happy from both camps. Okay, He has a fiduciary responsibility to himself to continue to make videos and make money, but if he's not putting eyeballs on them because they're not what people are wanting to watch, you know... 
but I'm sure he's feeling pressure. He's feeling pressure from guys like you that go like, man, you used to really be into all of that. You used to really do some good work, but now you're just a shitty camera review channel. You don't know, you don't know jack shit about Ted. Okay. You don't know anything because you're not a, 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 an experienced YouTuber. You think that it's good enough to just make the video and that's it. You know, it's about the content of the work, right? Right. That's what we like to think. That's what we like to tell ourselves. It's about the content of the work. We'd like to think that the content of our work every single day is actually loved, thought about, appreciated, pondered upon after the cameras go off, but they don't. Today it's, huh, that's cool, swipe, huh, pretty cool, swipe. That's the amount of appreciation people give to your work. You can work for hours and days and weeks and it all boils down to swipe, huh, that's nice. Swipe. All of your work, all of your effort boils down to that's it. Just a little flick. That's cool. I'm not really trying to, you know, shit in your witties or anything, but at the same time, you need a reality check yourself. You thought, you know, that you were doing us all a favor, or at least your tens of viewers a favor by sitting up on your soapbox talking about how awesome you were and all your film cameras and, you know, all that kind of stuff, but you, you're not. You're not doing yourself any favors. You make yourself look dumb. Quit talking about the younger photographers on YouTube because they're just trying to do what everyone else is trying to do. They're trying to get eyeballs on their effort. So don't be going around taking a little poo-poo on other people because someday someone might just take a poo-poo on you and name names because some of us don't give a f Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you all today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And Ted, if you end up watching this, uh, I know you've been busy here lately. I appreciate you, man. I know the trials and tribulations, my friend, and um, you do whatever it takes. You keep fighting the good fight, man, because I'm right there with you. At any rate, thanks so much for hanging out with me here on another Morning Jolt episode. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I'm going to see you guys again on the next one. Peace.